Chant unto our God, chant ye, clap your hands, all ye nations. The reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. In those days, as Peter went throughout all regions, he came down also to the saints who dwelt in Lydia. There he found a certain named Aeneas, who was bedridden for eight days and paralyzed. And Peter said to them, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Arise and make your bed. And immediately he rose, and all who dwelt at Lydia and Sharon saw him and turned back to the Lord. Then there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha. She was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she fell sick and died. And when they had washed her, they placed her in the upper chamber. Since, since Lydia was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to entreat him. Come to us without delay. So Peter arose and went to them. And when he arrived, they took him to the upper chamber. All the widows stood by him, weeping, showing the tunics and other garments which Tabitha made while she was with them. But Peter put them all outside and knelt down and prayed. Then turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hands and raised her up. Then he called the saints and widows and presented her alive. And it became known throughout all, all, and many believed in the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us attend. At that time, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool in Hebrew called Bethsaida, which has five porticos. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blame, li blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel of the Lord went down at certain seasons into the pool and troubled the water. Whoever stepped in first after the troubling of the water was healed of whatever disease he had. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him and knew that he had been lying there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is troubled. And while I am going, another steps down before me, Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your pallet, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his pallet and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to, be, to carry your pallet. But he answered them, The man who healed me said to me, Take up your pallet and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your pallet and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, and there was a crowd in the place. 
Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you are well, sin no more, that nothing worse befall you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. 